Hello everyone and welcome to this, the latest installment of 3D prototyping in Unity. My name is Kisanas. Guys, I am done teaching for the summer. My grades are in, everything is done, my students are happy, a lot of them have jobs already so that makes me happy. <laughs> They've started their professional career, uh, and it makes you feel good. As a teacher, it makes you feel really good to watch your students graduate and move on and actually be able to start working. Uh, I had to give some thought to what I'd be doing with YouTube over the summer. Uh, I don't actually have any courses assigned to me over the summer semester, and I have not been assigned any courses yet for September. They have not gone through and, and created those courses, the course load yet for, for September. So I don't actually have anything pressing that I actually have to do. Uh, nothing for school. So I gave it some thought and uh, I kind of came up with an idea that would be both beneficial, I hope, to the YouTube community uh, as well as to my current and future students. Uh, a little while ago I created a game called Nether Runner. It was an infinite runner uh, and I put it up there. It was kind of like a little game jam I did. I had a few days off over the March break and I did a little game jam of my own and I created a Nether Runner over a couple of days. And a lot of you expressed interest in the game itself uh, or in seeing a, seeing a series on how to create the game. And I'm eventually going to do that for certain. Uh, in fact, now that I have time off for the summer, I'd like to finish the game. A lot of you suggested things like biomes and day-night cycles and, and, and just different things, weather, all different things you guys suggested. Uh, so I'd like to add as much of that kind of stuff into the game as I possibly can. And then I'm going to distribute the game uh, probably to my, I'm going to probably distribute the game for free to my, uh, my Patreon patrons. Uh, they deserve it. They give me a lot of support, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm, I'm probably going to distribute the game to them for free. Uh, and I'm going to create a series on how to build the game afterwards. But after giving some thought uh, to the actual game itself and what I want to do with it, I thought that a really good thing to do, rather than start with the actual gameplay of an infant runner, would be to take a look at this kind of starting screen. Now this this was the starting screen uh, for my Infinite Runner. It was kind of the customization screen where you could go through and you could you could change your, your skin to different skins. Uh, and you could rotate it and take a look at the character. And you could uh, you could uh, change the character's inventory so they had you know different weapons or different armor or d different things like that. And with that in mind, I thought this would be a really good thing to start off with. We could start off with this because it'd be beneficial to YouTube people making games as well as my students, my real life students. Now, if you're make out there and you're watching this series and you're trying to make a game, you could use this for exactly what I've done here, an inventory screen, some kind of starting screen. Um, it's kept really simple. You can rotate around, you can look at the character itself, so you could set up so you're changing your characters out, that kind of thing. Uh, customization of your characters for whatever game you're making. And afterwards, you would hit the play button and you'd go on to the game itself. And that's kind of what I've done here. But I thought this would serve a dual purpose in the fact that my, my real life students could use this for uh, kind of an interactive demo reel. Uh, my animation students could could have a have a character that sits here like this. Uh, the person watching their demo reel could kind of rotate and take a look at the model. So it's good for modeling as well. Could take a you know rotate and take a look at the model. Uh, but I also want to set it up so that if you hit certain buttons, the character will go through and run, or the character will walk, or the character will jump, or swing the sword, or whatever it is that we actually want to happen. Uh, and that way, uh, any any game studios out there who are looking at this interactive demo reel will actually be able to see how the animator or modeler, I guess the animator in this case, how the animator has blended together the animations, that they actually have an idea of how to blend together animations properly. Uh, so it's really a dual purpose, this series is really going to be a dual purpose series. Uh, it'll be good for both of you, for everyone out there watching. Okay, if you guys have any suggestions, this is just a brief introduction. We're actually going to start the series either this week or next week. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. I always love hearing from you. I'm really hoping more of you are going to show me your games. I've got my students, my real life students' games up. A few of you have sent me links to the games you've created, and I love to see that stuff. I love to see it, guys. Anyway, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.